How does one code while avoiding the infinite recursion of terror? The infinite recursion of terror is a common problem in programming that occurs when a function calls itself indefinitely, leading to an infinite loop and a crash or unexpected behavior. To avoid the infinite recursion of terror, a programmer should take several steps to ensure that their code is properly structured, and that the recursion has a clear stopping point. One approach is to use a base case. A base case is a condition that is specified in the recursive function that stops the recursion when it's met. This can be done by including a check within the recursive function that tests for the base case and returns a value or takes another action when the base case is met. This can help to ensure that the recursion has a clear stopping point and that the program does not enter an infinite loop. Another approach is to use a counter or a flag to limit the number of recursive calls. This can be done by including a counter or a flag within the recursive function that is incremented or set each time the function is called. The recursion is stopped when the counter or flag reaches a certain value. This can help to ensure that the recursion does not go on indefinitely and that the program does not enter an infinite loop. A third approach is to use a tail recursive function. A tail recursive function is a function that performs its recursive call as the last action before returning. This can be done by using a helper function that performs the recursive calls and returning the final result. This can help to prevent the stack overflow that is caused by traditional recursion. Another approach is to use a loop instead of recursion. This can be done by using a for or while loop to iterate through a data structure, it can make the code more readable and easier to understand. This can help to avoid the recursion altogether and make the code more efficient. Another approach is to use dynamic programming. Dynamic programming is a technique that involves breaking a problem down into smaller sub-problems and solving them individually. This can be done by using memorization, which is the process of storing the results of the sub-problems to avoid unnecessary recomputation. This can help to avoid the recursion altogether and make the code more efficient. Finally, it's important to keep in mind that infinite recursion can happen not only in the code but also in the configuration. It's important to validate the configuration files and check that all the necessary properties are set and that the program is not going into an infinite loop. In summary, to avoid the infinite recursion of terror, a programmer should use a base case, a counter or a flag, tail recursive function, loop instead of recursion, dynamic programming, and validate the configuration files. Each approach has its own advantages and disadvantages, and it may be necessary to use a combination of approaches to ensure that the recursion has a clear stopping point and that the program does not enter an infinite loop. It's also important to keep in mind that preventing the infinite recursion of terror is a continuous effort, and it's important to review the code and the configuration regularly and make sure that the program is not going into an infinite loop.